Hi there, it's Nailan. So previously we built the boundary wall using the railing tool. We looked at how to build these segmented columns and then we also looked at how to build this chimney at the center of this thing. And today we are going to roof this thing. So let's get to it. So in the floor plan, you want to go to the beam tool, double click that to bring up this dialog box. And in here, let's uh, make this beam about 200 by 200. When we go to segment here, we can decide to give it the timber material. And in the model view, we need to override these surfaces to have them the wood that we have been using for the rest of the design. So let's begin to draw. We could start from somewhere here. Yeah, we have that, we have that, we have that, that. Yes, we have something like that. And finally, we have that. So let's look at what we have done so far. So this is the first stage where we put these beams. And now we need to support these beams angularly with a member of about 45 degrees. So in the floor plan, you want to alt click to choose one of these beams and go to the settings. And this time we're going to go back here in the beam and put an angle to this beam of about 45 degrees and let's say okay and place it somewhere let's say about there somewhere there so let's look at it in 3d and this is what we have done but obviously we need this to be a little lower than what it is so we can decide that it starts from uh, 2.4 from the ground so there we can stretch it backward using this uh, option here stretching the length and obviously this kind of alignment is not working so in the settings we can decide to make it end on a flat surface we could also reduce a bit of what the thickness is maybe about 150 in order for it to leave a small gap here which looks kind of good we have made one and now it's time to duplicate it so we select this Control shift e in order to rotate a copy of this to this other side by 90 degrees so select these two Control shift m to mirror and of course we need to change the snap to half in order that we are able to mirror along here and then shift to select those ones ctrl shift m in order to mirror on this other side and we have finished the support for these beams which is pretty cool now Next is we need some rafters that are going to be at an angle of about 25 above this structure. Pick one of these beams, go to the settings and decide that we will make this one at an angle of about 25 and make this a bit smaller, I think, yeah, 150. And then we say, okay, can begin to draw, but before we begin to draw, by the way let's first decide where we want it to stop so from the center here i need it to be about 600 so let's go and select the beam tool again hope the things that we changed are there yes we there and now let's begin to draw this from there up to the center of this beam so which is right there and then we can shift ctrl shift m to mirror and in 3d this is what we get which is pretty nice but we need these beams to be a bit a bit lower than what they are in settings we can decide that this is about 2.9 as opposed to 3 meters and that is kind of good 
So now we will build a truss system here. So we will build maybe a strut member and two tie members here. Is this the strut or the tie? I think this is a strut. So I'm going to use a comb tool. So let's go to the first floor here. And using the comb tool, we will make it the size of about 115. And within segment, change its um, material to timber. And you can override these surfaces if you so wish. Place it in here. So in 3D, we can come and tweak. So stretching it here, we can stop it midway, this intersection here. So we need two members at 45 here. Come and pick maybe one of these and we can, it can begin from zero, be at 45 degrees. And for now, let's use that and start from where the column starts and build this way. Let's uh, better change it in, in 3D. So it needs to be a bit smaller than the 150, maybe <clears throat> here 120. We can make this the 150. We can stretch it along the pitch that we chose, so something like that. And its ending within the settings can be adjusted to something like 90 degrees perpendicular to that. And that looks good. So let's mirror that. So holding shift, selecting that, mirror that. Uh, by Ctrl M and you have something decent for a truss. We need to multiply these stars across the drawing and we can do that within this uh, first floor. So we will add a reference to show what is underneath on the ground floor. And before we begin to multiply, we need to know how far apart this is so from here to the center here is about 5.2 meters yeah and uh, we could add divisions to this line to see which is about 1040 for if we were to have five rafters we will say control u in order to multiply and we choose spread in order to, to spread these rafters by the 1040 that we have found out. So press that and we spread it out. So let's group these. So in case we wanted to affect them, we can affect them all at once. So in 3D, this is what we get, which is pretty good. Let's do some eve detailing. So for the eve, we are going to use a morph and for us to use a morph appropriately we might need a section so let's go into document tab within the toolbox and choose the section so double click on the section so in this dialog box I just want to choose something simple here and override this to be an XX uh, section so we will draw this section from here to here, just looking across the design. So open section in the new tab. So in here we can get a polyline to get a feel of how <coughs> the eve would be. So let's draw here. Can move this node somewhere here. So let's make a copy of this and fill in with the morph. So <coughs> under design, <coughs> under design, find morph, go into the settings and let's make it the same material like before, override the surface with wood and also remove this cover fill, uh, place this here such that it is showing correctly in the floor plan. So let's 
position it to where it's supposed to be and in the flow plan we can move it to the correct position by dragging with ctrl d and moving it to the right position about here so let's measure and see just how far this is this is about 5.4 so let's go in 3d we will select this uh, surface and extrude it by clicking and the pet path will come so after selecting extrusion we put in 5.4 and that's the eve that we have created and uh, next is we need to mirror this by ctrl shift m to this other side okay and we are essentially done with the eve detail and this is sort of showing just how they would treat here and also helping us to hide unnecessary details within there so now let's put a roof to this thing for the roof we are going to go to the ground floor where we are going to place the roof from the design we get the roof tool get one of these and let's make it about 50 to cater for the palings that are underneath and now the roof needs to be about 25 degrees and then we can override the surfaces with a grayish color and the wood can stay so from there about three meters high and i think the rest is fine uh, we might need to go to the multi-plane geometry and reduce this to offset to about 600 which we chose and when we say okay we need to place this along these uh, midpoints okay now it has been placed correctly although this side we do not need all this we might dial it down to just by 350 yeah something like that let's dial it back by about 350 so let's go in 3d and see what the roof looks like yeah it's uh, uh misplaced so let's go in the section that we created and move it up in order to be in the right place so select the roof and ctrl d to place it exactly where you need it so that it is correctly placed so finally we will add a straight molding to this other place that is going to act as a gutter of sorts at the eve so we will go to the first floor plan where we would place it from and go to the design go to the object tool and in the object tool we will type in mold and see what comes up and we will choose one of these which is a straight mold and um, let's place it here so let's put it in the right place by ctrl d and we will move this to the around here middle of this beam and the middle of this one here let's make it come up to 135 135 and within this section that we have created we need to check out the height of that coping mold and drag it down to something like that so we are going to need to resize this to about there so let's go in the settings and also change how this looks like maybe crown three and we could also in the representation overwrite the surface to be wood okay i think i'm happy with that so let's put it there to leave that small gap why not just for preference so ctrl shift m 
to mirror along here create this small closure shift M to do the same thing somewhere behind there and hold these three and ctrl shift M to mirror them to this other side so thank you so much for sticking with me in this series subscribe below if you are new to the channel hit the like button and i'll see you in the next one bye